The Boss C1 was the first chorus pedal to hit the market back in 1976, and to me, it is also the best chorus pedal ever made, bar none. The chorus is lush and chewy, the tone is warm, full, but still detailed. There are great vibrato tones to be had, and it can do a great fall lastly too. It never sounds cheesy like a lot of other chorus pedals can sometimes do. I love the aesthetics and the aura of the huge green box, even its smell. It looks like a military piece of kit from an early Fallout game. But as a hobby guitarist, I don't have much time to wire up all the pedals each time for playing sessions, and these old big boxes are just too huge for a pedal board. So I've been trying to find a pedal board friendly chorus that could substitute the CE1 for a long time. I've tried a few pedals that were based around the CE1, but none of them did really nail that chorus and preamp tone. Recently I acquired the Past Effects Chorus Ensemble Mini, the MN302 version, to stack it up against my Vintage Original. In this video I will showcase different settings on the Boss and the Past Effects. They will be dialed in as close as possible by ear. That is because the tolerances of pots are within 20% and in the worst case scenario one can end up with a 40% difference in nominal value of the pots. And additionally there is a difference in the taper of pots, so copying knob settings is not really an option. The tracks you hear are pre-recorded into my DAW and then reamped in order to be as consistent as possible and to showcase some of the finer nuances. The signal source is the recorded Stratocaster clips through an AudioFuse Studio interface. That goes to a Quartermaster by GigRig to loop in an original Bluesbreaker pedal for the overdrive sections. Then the signal goes into a remote loopy by GigRig where chorus pedals are connected to the loops and I'm switching live back and forth between the two for the comparison. In all clips the boss comes first except for the preamp demo where first comes the bypass tone. The amp is the clean channel of the Friedman Smallbox 50. It is recorded through a sewer reactive load a cabinet and a room impulse have been added in post. Apart from that there is no other post processing going on. The pedals are buffered at all times, I mention this because the boss unit will have a noticeable high end roll off without a buffer in front due to its lower impedance input. And now let's compare the two pedals.
Recently there has been a clear trend towards releasing classic pedal designs that used to be out in huge boxes in a modern pedal board friendly format. And it is obvious why. Everyone and his mother wants a pedal board nowadays, myself included. And unless you are really committed to a specific vintage piece, the old boxes don't work great in that context. I had the chance to try the new Nano Deluxe Memory Man, various Electric Mistress clones, uh, the ADA PBF flanger, as well as simpler effects like fuzzes. And I must say that nothing has nailed the tone and feel of the reference pedal as well as the past effects chorus ensemble. 
It is not only practically impossible to tell them apart in a direct A-B comparison video, but also in person, switching in real time between them. Needless to say that along with the compact size, a big bonus is the standard 9V power supply and the extra flexibility of being able to adjust chorus speed and intensity separately on the chorus setting. The past effects offering has all of the features of the original and sounds just as magic. It indeed does sound like a vintage pedal. I did not demo the stereo sounds here, but they too sound identical to me. Additionally, the integrated transformer of the vintage original does introduce hum into the background noise floor, and the past effects chorus ensemble has less hiss. As with all pedals, my personal preference would be towards top mounted jacks and the power supply jack. But that is a very small qualm and true with most compact modulation or delay effects. Thanks to past effects, my pedal board will finally feature the CE1 sound with absolutely no compromises in tone. So kudos to Will Lee on a really great product. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think? How does the past effects unit stack up against the vintage original? Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video and would like to see more content like this. My next upload will be a comparison of the original 18V Electric Mistress by Electro Harmonix with a number of current clones of this uh, fascinating circuit, so stay tuned.